Hello and welcome back to our channel. My name is Joanna and today we're going to be making a trefoil calendar. This calendar is the 11th supplementary model from the book Paper Sloyd for Primary Grades by Edna Ann Rich and it is totally different from the ones we've made before. So hit that subscribe button and come craft with us. We're going to walk you through every step of this project and you're going to want to stick around to the end to see Grandma Parsnip's antics. Now the materials you're going to need for this project are first the book, Paper Sloyd for Primary Grades. I'm including a link for both the physical and digital book below. You'll also need a hole punch, an X-Acto knife, a pencil, a compass, a metal ruler, two pieces of cardstock. We're using scrapbook paper because it's good quality and pretty. A pair of scissors, some string to hang it with. We're using embroidery thread because it's matching and a cutting mat. So first we're gonna create the back of the calendar. We start by measuring out a four and a quarter inch square. We're gonna measure down from the top on the left to four and a quarter inches and place a dot. Then we move the ruler over a few inches and measure down from the top to four and a quarter inches and place another dot. And then using your ruler, Join these two dots with a horizontal line. Next, measure in from the left at the top to four and a quarter inches and place a dot. Then measure in from the left on the horizontal line you just drew to four and a quarter inches and place another dot. And now using our ruler, we're gonna join these last two dots with a vertical line. Now let's cut out our square. On our square, we're gonna measure up from the bottom on the left to one and a half inches and place a dot. We're gonna do the same on the right, measuring up from the bottom to one and a half inches and placing a dot. Now using our ruler, we're gonna join these last two dots with a horizontal line. Next, along the top and from the left, we'll measure to the vertical midpoint of the square, which is two and one eighths of an inch. We'll do this at the top and at the bottom. And then using our ruler, we're going to join the two dots, drawing a line down the midpoint of the paper. Next, we're gonna mark out the midpoints of the circles that will create the trefoil. On that vertical line we just drew, we'll measure down from the top and place a dot at one and a half inches. And then along the horizontal line, we'll measure in from the left and place dots at one and a half inches and two and three quarters of an inch. Now, set your compass to one and a half inches and draw your semicircles from each of these three points, creating our trefoil.
Now we'll draw the little lines that we'll cut for our paper strips. From the right dot on the horizontal line, measure to the right three quarters of an inch and place a dot. You're now gonna measure down from that horizontal line in two spots to one quarter of an inch and draw your dots. Now connect these two dots with the line. We'll define its length later. Now let's do the same thing on the left hand side. Measure to the left from the dot at the center of the circle to three quarters of an inch and place a dot. Then measure down from the horizontal line in two separate spots to a quarter of an inch and place your dots. Then join those two dots with a line. Now we'll define the length of those lines a little better. On the right, we'll measure in from the edge to three quarters of an inch. And we'll place the dot on the lower line segment. Then measure to one and a half inches and place another dot. These dots will guide your cuts later. Now let's do the same on the left hand side. Measure in from the left of the page to three quarters of an inch and one and a half inches. And place dots on that lower line segment. Now the middle slot is not well defined in the diagram so we made our own measurements. We measured down from the top on the left and on the right to two inches and to two and a quarter inches and we place dots, which we then joined with two little horizontal lines. Then to define their length, we measured in from the left and placed dots at one and three quarters of an inch and two and a half inches on both lines. Next, we drew the dots for the holes. We measured down half an inch from the top in two separate places and placed dots. We joined those two dots with a small horizontal line And then we measured half an inch on both sides of the center vertical line and placed our dots. Now we can cut out our trefoil. Lucy chose to cut out the perimeter with some scissors and the small slots on the interior with her X-Acto knife.
Now that we're done with the calendar back, we'll make the strips that will thread through those little slots in the back. We're starting with a nine and a half inch length of paper that is one and seven eighths inch in height. This is gonna fit all three paper strips perfectly. So using our ruler, we're gonna measure down on the left to five eighths of an inch and to one and a quarter of an inch and place our dots. Then we'll do the same on the right. Now we'll join these sets of dots with two horizontal lines. Then measure in from the left at the top of the paper and on the second line to eight inches and place your dots. Now join those two dots with a vertical line. And now you can cut out our paper strips. This is gonna create two eight inch strips and one nine and a half inch strip. Once you're finished cutting, we're gonna write out the days of the week on one of the eight inch strips, the months of the year on the other, and on the nine and a half inch strip, we're gonna write the numbers one to 31. We now have the months of the year, the days of the week, and the days of the month. Let's place the strips into their respective spaces. Now that our strips are in place, all we have to do is put them to the correct date and thread our embroidery thread through the holes. Here, let me help you with that real quick. I've made these for years. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness, Grandma, what have you done? Maybe I'll finish this off myself and we'll get you untangled. And that, my friends, is a tray foil calendar. Isn't it a fun little calendar? Thank you for crafting with us. We'd love if you head back to the channel, subscribe, and follow along with us as we learn useful arts, crafts, and skills.